Hey everybody, I'm back. Yes. Okay, so first of all, I just want to say that this is a general introduction slash set of announcements slash thank you um, to everybody. So if you don't want to hear all of that, feel free to click the timestamp. It should be in the description box. You can go straight to your reading for the month. I know how it is. Sometimes you don't want to hear all that. Um, I have some notes because like a low key, I'm nervous. Um, no, but also I just like feel really bad because I haven't, you know, posted in a minute. Anyway, look, I want to say thank you. Because number one, I have like 200 subscribers. Again, I feel like I mentioned that in the other video, but this is like thank you just in general um, because that's very surprising. I you know, wasn't really sure if anyone would ever be interested because like, you know, um, so that's just the one thing. Um, the other is that it's just um, throughout this whole thing of like being an internet person, like at least to a certain degree, um, everyone has been so nice and supportive. And I mean that with like kind words consistently. Um, people really speaking really well about themselves, which is very important. I feel like when people have that kind of energy about themselves, it's a lot easier to like feel good about yourself. Um, and just like hearing a bunch of cool stuff about everyone from everyone and just like sharing an interest and having fun. That's really special to me. And so I do want to say thank you, whether it's your first time coming here um, it doesn't really matter. I feel like, you know, especially with just like being around doing this long enough, you know, and just all y'all who've been rocking with me, I really appreciate you guys um, a lot, a lot, a lot. And so I did want to say that, um, da, 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 da. yeah, and honestly, um, but yeah, thank you. I just I wanted to make that very clear um, to everyone because it's special. Y'all are special. I've learned so much from everyone and like about myself. It's been a dope ass process. I look forward to continuing. Um, okay. So the reason why I was absent, I don't know if you saw the other video, but y'all I'm in like a living situation from hell. Like it's very wild. Like my landlord allegedly, I don't know. I don't even want to go that far. Cause like, you know, girls not trying to get caught up on no legal shit. But my dumbass landlord is just making my life very difficult. And it just seems like every time this person comes around or every time they get upset with me, some terrible shit happens to my car. And so on the, what was it, the 8th, I went outside to go look at my car. My tires were slashed and my shit's not running right. So anyway, there's that. And I kind of need to move. It's just crazy. And so I do have a, a GoFundMe up. <laughs> You know, just in case you want to donate to it, you don't have to. Honestly, just thank you for even putting up with me while I'm like posting inconsistently because my, I had grand plans. Um, and so I, I don't want, you know, I really don't want that kind of stuff to affect it, affect what I'm doing on the internet or with my clients and stuff like that. And so, you know, thank you for putting up with me kind of ghosting and stuff like that because it, it sucks and I'm trying to like be around, but I also just don't want to expose people to certain stuff. Um, but yeah, so here's the fun part. Well, it's pretty quick. So here's the fun part. Um, so this month I decided I want to do something a little bit different. Um, and so what I want to do is, um, I want to show you the decks that I'm using. So I'm going to use these for all of the signs, all the readings, um, and eh, you know, for all the signs. And so if you guys like these cards or whatever, definitely check them out. So I did want to show them to you. Um, so I feel like I use this deck a lot, but y'all already know it is what it is. So this is the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. It slaps. Um, I've been using this one for a while, kind of off and on. Sometimes I switch out the Oracle cards I use, but I really do like this one. I'm feeling this one for the remainder of January. And then these tea leaf fortune cards which are really great i think they're gonna kind of is this gonna give us some specificity and some other stuff um kind of going on and then as always you are gonna have a tarot card that kind of represents a major theme for the for the remainder of the month and um yeah this deck i really really like this deck i, I wanted to make sure that i could um really interpret it in a way that like was natural for me so that when I read for you guys you guys would really like it and so this is the uncommon tarot 
and it is so nice. I look forward to showing y'all the cards. They are so pretty, they're collage style. And like, okay, so this is kind of like, they have a silver guild on them. And then they're, ooh, saucy with the nails. Um, don't trip, they're just nail stickers, y'all. I ain't out here, ain't no nail shops open. I can't go to a nail shop, come on now. Um, and so I did want to show you this deck. And yeah, that was it. So if you guys have any questions about the cards and stuff, I'm gonna try to, you know, come up with more kind of instructional, not even instructional, but just tips and things like that. Try, gonna try to be more social on social media. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so thank you for listening and getting through these damn announcements is very long. I might not expect it to be that long, but at least now you know which cards are being used, my excuses for dipping off, and just overall, thank you. So thanks again for watching videos, liking, subscribing, anything, um, whether you sent a dollar or didn't send a dollar. Also, thank you if you've sent a donation. I really appreciate it. Um, just ever, you know anything kind words y'all are like you know it's very amazing how people can just be decent when you when you're going through it and so i do appreciate that and yeah let's get cracking with your reading it's gonna be fun i hope you're ready i'm ready i'm excited i'm hyped and um you'll be seeing more of me so check you later see you in your reading hey libra what's up sorry for the late reading but I feel like I've said that so much. Y'all know how it is. I just don't want to write you off as being like nice and understanding though. So I do want to apologize, you know. Things happen. Things happen. So anyway, I hope you survive the holidays and all the other stuff and you are just enjoying life. We're going to get into your reading for January. Mad late. Page wands. First thing I thought of was eager to explore. So maybe like, maybe you're ready to start off on a journey or like move on from things. I just, that's pretty loud and clear. You could be starting off on a new creative endeavor that's gonna take you places. So let's pull out a pass card real quick. Pass card was a two of cups. Let's clarify that with, oh, uh, so an earth sign may have recently offered you a relationship or maybe you started something with an earth sign or someone who comes off with earthy energy. That's all I got. I don't want to spill too much on that. Also, you could be starting like a work partnership with an earth sign too, or that could have been a thing that's like, maybe you had this partnership and now it's going on to not necessarily the next level with like that partnership. But the next level with your life it could be in that or outside of it oh wow and we have the moon card and the three of coins maybe you guys are working together in secret that sometimes happens like a secret collaboration anyway let's keep going so it's currently going on sorry if you hear like tools in the background there's like home improvement stuff happening but you know it's that's life So you actually might be taking a break or a rest. Maybe it's like a kind of pause before you know something's about to happen or, but I would say that it also looks like on the outside that you're chilling, but maybe you're like, maybe you're planning something. So you could be planning or plot, like planning next steps without necessarily telling anyone. It just looks like you're taking a break right now. So maybe you're on break for like school or some seasonal work or in between projects. And then you have the temperance card underneath. So you might be learning how to like, oh, you could be learning how to balance um, working on like stuff, like going full speed all the time. And then kind of like, instead of that, you want to make sure that you're keeping it together, that you're balanced. And then also too, when you're, when you're not overworked, you're able to um, do your best work. It's kind of like, you don't want to take a test when you haven't slept well or you haven't eaten. Cause like, ugh. so the same thing goes with like, working it's like you don't want to max yourself out creatively or max yourself out with like doing too much and then suddenly you just are tired all the time or you can't really contribute anymore so you could have been also like powering up after that in the future we got the six of cups and the nine of swords 
So something that may have been stressful from the past may be coming back. It could be also that you're moving on from the past and that may be feeling a little bit stressful, but then on top of that, we get the Eight of Cups that shuffled it a lot, just to clarify it. So, okay. In the beginning, moving on is gonna be mentally stressful or you may have more anxiety about um, kind of like a past experience of trying to do maybe something similar. And, um, but with the Eight of Cups, it's like you have more, like you're really moving on. Like you're probably gonna move on from whatever, like, I don't wanna say trauma, but whatever it had you kind of stuck in the past over, it could be trauma. Um, so you're gonna be moving on from that. You're just like, okay, this is the next step. I'm gonna take this step and it is what it is. Which is good. You're you're going with it. And with the um with the alchemist card, it's the temperance card. And so it's like for Libra with the scales and stuff like that, that means that you're actually like balanced. But like balanced in the sense of like now you can kind of like transfer fluid between vessels and it's always even. And it's it's just things are always sorted properly now for you. Let me get like one more though. Three of Wands. See, I keep saying, I keep saying that you are moving on. So you could be moving on to like the, yeah, I kind of get like not on to the next, but like next steps with this project or like if it's your brand, like you're going boop, boop, boop with your brand. So you're doing more with it. Dang, and you're looking at the future and you're like, I can do this because you get the Three of Wands and then the Knight of Wands. So it's like you really are going to hop on your horse and kind of ride towards it. And the Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So you really are probably like, I don't want to say in the zone. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're like, it just seems like creatively, like you keep moving up. And it's like, even with the Page of Wands at the start of the reading, it's like the Page of Wands, then the Knight of Wands, then the Queen of Wands. Hmm. You might be trying not to get too emotional too, or like psych yourself out. Which is good. You're trying to be stable with it. So now we are moving on to the tea leaves. I love these cards. They're like great. If you saw the intro, then you definitely know about that. Definitely check out the fundraiser as well. Um, yeah. And then we're going to see what's up with this one. So it may go along with what I talked about like in the first part of the reading. Doesn't necessarily mean it will. So you know it is what it is so this could be something that has come up or will come up and since these are a little late i would say kind of you know apply it time wise time is fluid that one flew out so that's clearly it this is so funny <laughs> this is so 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 funny because i'm like oh they might not go with it i don't know you know I'm not necessarily saying it's self-doubt i'm just saying it's you know many many a different types and what do you know okay first thing we have is a stork could be birth i think it's more about like this next step that you're going on so it could be a business thing and then we have a tiger which is doing something risky and then the casket so something's ending permanently mm -hmm. that sounds so final but something may be ending in a way that like you're not even going back to it you're like i'm not going back to that um, it could be a relationship. I don't necessarily think it is. It could be a business partnership. And then with the Tiger, it's um, doing something risky and taking a chance. And I think it might be one of those things that like, maybe let's say you're gonna go move out of the country and start another job, then, uh, or for a project or an experience, then of course, like, you know, you have to quit your job and move. And like, that's a risk. Um, so i don't know relocation feels like a theme so maybe that's something maybe relocating that's cool and then we also have the valley which is it's basically saying that like deep what is it deep personal strength and and peace that assure success that's pretty straightforward it might also be that like for you you know it's time and you're ready to move forward i do want to pull out these tarot cards just to kind of clarify it or to see if there's anything else Oh, damn. Yeah, so I get that this one with the four of cups is kind of like rejecting emotions 
or like feelings, but it can also be being balanced in your emotions as well. And being balanced enough to go like, this is all good. I don't really need this random floating cup. So it could be that. And the Knight of Cups is also moving away from these four, which makes me feel like you're moving towards your passions. And I say that with the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands. It's like, these are all the ideas all the directions that it's going in and maybe all the wands are hitting you at once and then victory it does look like he getting hit in the back with some wands that shit does look scary depending on the situation it might be that but i would say giving that there's a knight of cups in there that it's not that it could also be the like maybe you have a, a, a lot of potential suitors and you're just like yeah i'm good not you're good but it's like you're kind of like humoring them as like you see fit happens but you're nice about it you're a libra um, I love those Libra memes where they talk about how Libras flirt their way into relationships and they're like, oh shit. That's air sign behavior, by the way, but hey, it is what it is. Um, not all y'all. I'm just, I'm joke. It's all joke. That was a joke. Um, but I do be like that. I mean, shit, you know, in the wind, air signs. Um, but you'll be all right in terms of moving forward with that. So let's see. I don't necessarily think I want to go with the tarot. I feel like it's just very clear. And it's very like a calm energy with this reading, which is interesting. Not to say that like, oh, Libra, you should be mad hype and like stressed out or like, <laughs> no, it's just, you need to go into these kinds of decisions feeling balanced. Otherwise you, you're you gonna psych yourself out. I don't want to say you will, but it's just like, come on, do you want to be stressed about it? Or do you want to feel good about it? Exactly. Whatever issues you have surrounding about being able to make this move, it'll be resolved. But there's some kind of jerk you may have to deal with. In your quest to build security for yourself, make sure that you're not greedy. Also, there may be a, um, a self-serving person around you with dark hair, and they may just have wear a lot of wear dark colors. And the card said dark woman, but take that as you will. Uh, they could look like a Disney villain. Hell, who knows? You know, Oracle card, all that glitters. And one of the cards is saying like, be aware, be aware or weary of a greedy person. And that it was, that damn, that was hard to come out. Just Jesus, that was very difficult. Oh, I feel like I should have blended my makeup more. Don't roast me, Libra. Um, so let's see what's up with all that glitters because that's about being aware of you want to be aware of illusions with this one because there might be a lot of good in there but if you don't kind of look at things realistically you'll get got or you'll you know you may miss it you may invest incorrectly or you may not be aware of the things that are really important or you may lose sight of like why you started this process and so you don't want to do that you want to make sure that you're always grounded in like your morals your rules your values and then you know you can think about building and with the knight of pentacles that came out to kind of clarify it i do think it's about a slow moving process that doesn't mean that like you're let's say you have like a social media account where you post your art if it grows quickly where you go from like 100 likes to like a thousand likes overnight you know like don't let it go to your head obviously i say that and then it's like the the king of wands so the king of wands and the knight of pentacles so you may be starting to get paid for these creative endeavors too or you may be starting to people may be starting to maybe invest or wanting to invest in your ideas and you have to watch people because sometimes people will say well one scammers um <laughs> watch out for scammers in general um people will say they want to help but like they'll pop up when your shit's already lit like it's like where were you a couple years ago when i didn't have, when i wasn't doing well um so be wary of that oh but here's the thing you may have a homie who's an air sign or a gemini that may like kind of swoop in to be like and like have your back when you need them 
like an ace in the hole. Like maybe people don't know that, that they have your back, but they do. Um, Oh, and maybe somebody that you thought that you were like done talking to them. Like maybe you thought you weren't friends with them anymore. You weren't connected with them anymore. I mean, they may be popping up. They may be popping up to be like, hey, and in the midst of them, like maybe trying to um, reconnect with you, they'll like pop up to help defend you from some shit. I don't know. Random, right? Okay. Anyway, let's get one more because I was so like, Okay, you got a bunch of pink. So you got the higher power card, yen, and then exchanging gifts. I don't want to say, it could be a love thing. I'm not going to front. It could be a love thing. I'm not going to front. <laughs> Sorry. I just, the way they came out, we're going to talk about it. So we got higher power in the Ten of Cups. Maybe a miracle gonna happen to sort some shit out. I don't know. So I would say, hey, don't, you know, as quickly as things can go bad, they can also go well. So don't, you know, some people are like, well, it can never. Don't listen to people who say that things can't change. Especially if you're someone who's been putting in work and stuff. And then, you know, maybe it just hasn't like, you haven't seen the results that maybe you want or that you need in order to make a lifestyle change or whatever. Like, hell, I don't know. Maybe the algorithm is your account and people are like, boom, you're a genius, you know? Um, and then we also have Yin and the King of Cups. Now I said that Yin is feminine energy and then with the King of Cups, I just feel like, okay, whoever was the person who was kind of like, wow, this is a relationship thing. Whoever was kind of like hard about their emotions and all that, they're like, look, they're they're a little more soft with it or they can at least explain why it's like that or maybe it's like you bring it out of them and it's like you're not um you're not gonna hurt them for kind of being that way you probably tell them that oh this got real like oh you may be like, okay, God, why is this very artist? Maybe they're artists and there's someone that like has to do a bunch of shit. Like they don't have like a a regular nine to five. Well, I mean, actually what, what is a regular nine to five? But maybe it's like, okay, like if they're a doctor, maybe they're trying to build their own practice. If they're an artist, they're trying to transition. If they're a designer, they're, you know, trying to, um, you know, try other parts of design. The point is, is that you probably tell them like, A, like you have everything you need to move on or they may tell you this or maybe that's kind of your um, relationship with this person is that it's kind of like how little kids are like, we're friends, I'm your friend, you're my friend, da 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 da. It could be like that. Um, and either way, like slow progress is still progress is probably that. So maybe whoever had a hard time understanding that is probably starting to see that. And then this last one is, ex yeah, exchanging gifts. No, in, yeah, exchanging gifts. It just, the, the type on this card kind of throws me off sometimes, but only if I'm looking at it from a certain angle, I'm a dork. Um, and the Queen of Cups. You know how I mentioned that, the, 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 Maybe someone's planning to give you a gift or like, and, and maybe this is a secret investor shit. I don't know. I feel like whenever I say shit, I don't know. Then it's like, boom, like, I don't know. But whoever, okay. It could be a fire sign. They don't necessarily have to be. Y'all know I'm not really married to all that unless I'm like emphatic about it. Um, yeah, well, that's your reading for January. Like I said, I, I would advise to, um, time's a little fluid right now. Doesn't really exist like how it normally does. And so make sure to just kind of, you know, apply things as you will. Also check out any other signs that are present in your chart. 
um, like, share, subscribe, check out the link for the fundraiser as well. You know. Um, and I'll be seeing y'all around, okay, Libra? Keep it cute, as always. Bye.